Well, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the garage. Yeah, been a been a crazy, crazy, crazy week. Oh, I tell you what, before we do anything, go ahead and zoom out here. Let's go ahead and throw some more money in that jar right there. We're getting real close to the. We're getting real close to getting to count that up and send it off to the people we're going to send it off to. So I'm pretty happy about that. Go ahead and zoom back in here. That was one of those Walgreens exclusive Camaros that I jacked up. So wet sanded it, threw some rust on it, and there she is. <laughs> eh, you still see some of the green inside there. Didn't go too crazy on it, but it, they all look the same to me. But anyway, y'all, so when we were going through the Godfather's box the other day, at the very last thing, we had that beautiful Corvette 63 in that beautiful copper color. So we went ahead and got it together. I couldn't use the engine I wanted to put on there. I mean, I tried following out that, that hole, using the you know burring tool on the, on the Dremel, using a flat file, and I, I was not gonna be able to make it wide enough. So I stole this engine off of, a, <laughs> I stole this engine off of my project paint car that I, I just keep jacking with. But I think this one turned out pretty sweet. Took the wheels off of that red Batman tanker van. And uh, yeah. I think she turned out pretty sweet. I'm happy with that. I'm pretty happy. It's not bad looking, y'all. It's not bad looking. So I took this engine. So I had to put that bigger engine there because this one had no uh, no roof. So that engine fits perfect in there. Doesn't look too bad. I didn't cut the axles on those wheels. I, I know y'all see them sticking out. This is just a project car. I did throw some uh, pizza cutters up on the front there. I need to make a wheelie bar for it. But yeah, just one of those working, <laughs> you know, whips, work in progress kind of car. It's always getting recolored all the time. But I haven't recolored in a while. I just put some primer on it the other day. But anyway, y'all. So, took that engine off. Put that big engine I've been wanting to use on something. So, it's in there. It don't look too bad. Yeah, I may just keep it just like this too. I don't think it rolls. I got it slammed to the ground pretty good. <laughs> but it is what it is oh and I did get let me get my phone out so I can show you um, I'm gonna zoom this out here so I can get my phone in there so ah, it looks horrible but anyway my daughter found this Kia uh, paint's been chipped up on it. it looks like the kid left it in the bathtub you know cuz when I pulled it all apart there was like all kinds of gross stuff in there looked like old dried soap so I went ahead and did it for my daughter because she wanted it done. And that's what we come up with there. I finally found something that the blue wheels look good on. <laughs> but I didn't find something. I made something that the blue wheels would look good on. But yeah, that's uh I think it turned out pretty fantastic, man. I mean for a 50 cent car, she she was happy with it. Yeah, I didn't trim the axles yet. I, I just wanted to get together so we could make this video. And get it off one of my helping hands so I have more helping hands for work tomorrow. Let's see what's going on. But yeah, that I wasn't happy with this Rust-Oleum color shift paint, you know, that I got from Walmart for like nine bucks. The price was right, but I wasn't happy with it. But I find that if you shake it really, really a lot and warm it up, you get a much finer mist and a much finer uh, glitter coating. Because the first time I did it, the glitter flakes were way too large. So, but yeah, she turned out pretty good. Happy with that. So that's really the only things that I've worked on is, is these things right here. And uh, I think they turned out pretty good. They look all right to me. So uh, I did get a mail call and I told him I wasn't gonna open it till Christmas because we're doing an exchange, you know, just a blind box. I'm gonna send you this blind box, you know, we'll just do it, uh, an exchange. So I said, sweet. I said, just like Christmas. I said, I'll tell you what, I'll open it at Christmas. But Cecil wants me to open it. <laughs> I know he does. He says, I hope you like what I sent you. But you know, I said, yeah, dude, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and open it up because I don't want to I don't want to torture uh, Cecil that way. So big box y'all big box over three pounds. So I got the Rimco Exacto 5000. Go ahead and cut this box open and we'll see what Cecil sent because I'm kind of curious myself. And I thank y'all that have been sending boxes and stuff. Like I said, I've been trying not to buy die cast, but y'all just making it so much easier for me. 
not to buy diecast because y'all keep sending me stuff and y'all don't have to, but I appreciate it. Let's see what we got. Ooh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Well, look at this. Monopoly 57 Chevy. Look at that. Look at those wheels, man. Fantastic. Yeah. The only place I find these at is my HEB. But HEB is like $2 higher. They got like Hobby Lobby prices at the HEB on these Johnny Lightnings. I'm like, nope. Not going to happen. <laughs> Sweet token too, man. Look at that token. Oh, man. Thanks, Cecil. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I don't buy those. Ooh. Look at this. Final run of the Auburn. Man, that thing is fantastic. Would you look at that? I don't have this final run, do I? Do I? No, because all my final runs on the wall. I don't. Thanks, Cecil. Man, that's sweet. Absolutely sweet. Dang. Okay, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, look at this. Toys R Us, man. I used to love Toys R Us. There was one right up the road from my work, man. I went in there one day and they were closing out all the video games and stuff. And I picked up a Sega Genesis for 13 bucks. And the games were like two and three bucks a piece, man. I walked out of there $32 and I walked out of there rich. I'm telling you. I miss Toys R Us. But that's sweet, man. I don't have that. Love the giraffe stripes on there. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, I had to put that right over there. Cecil's got a mixture of loose and... Ooh, okay. Look what Cecil did. Cecil stole the wheels. <laughs> That's cool, though. I've got so many of the, those Marvel, you know, combat medics. i got to figure out what to do with them. I need some decals or something. i going to move this up right there. Oh, wheels you chose are pretty great, man. So, yep. Awesome. Thank you. Put that right over there. Oh, would you look at this jewel. And I know I do not have this one. I do not have this one at all. The Oshkosh Snowplow. Look at that. That's a beast, man. You got your dollars worth when you bought that. Man, that thing is freaking sweet. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it a lot. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Would you look at this? Man, oh man. Hang on just a second. Well, see, so we lost the bumper. Oh my gosh. And I am out of super glue. <laughs> but this thing is pretty sweet, man. I like it. I like it a lot. Yep, bumper fell right off of that. And I am out of super glue. I went to Dollar General up the road because I didn't want to go in traffic to Home Depot. Dollar General empty, man. They have nothing. Nothing on their pegs. No JB Will. Nothing. I'm like, what the heck, man? Y'all got carts everywhere on every aisle, but you don't have anything I need. So I bought like a $4 hot glue gun. And I, that's what I glued the axles on to this, uh, on this one. I glued them axles on with a hot glue gun, man. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> hey, man. In a, in a pinch, you do what you gotta do. Oh, would you look at this? Now, I can tell you these did not come from the factory like that. <laughs> but it looks fantastic. It should have come from the factory like that, man. If you're going out dinosaur looking, sightseeing, you need to be in something a little bit more protected than a Jeep. <laughs> That's fantastic, man. Awesome. That is freaking awesome. Oh, hell yeah. I'm keeping that on the desk for a while, man. That's awesome. <laughs> it makes me laugh I love it absolutely love it oh this is a cute one I don't have the black one I have a couple of the other colors pretty sweet man I like it believe it or not my dad bought one of those they use them, they use them at the refineries in Corpus Christi to uh, run uh, hot shop parts from one end of the refinery to the other so yeah, he bought one of those like dirt cheap and sold it to some guy that wanted it for his ranch uh, for hunting season. So yeah, he, I think he more than doubled or tripled his money. He's always doing stuff like that. Fantastic. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Oh yeah. I do not, 
I will, I will, I will keep every one of these that people send me, and I will always buy them when I find them. But I love them, man. Absolutely. These are one of my favorite things. Absolutely love these, man. These are fantastic. I got to figure out what to do with some of these things, man. But I like it. I like it a lot. I got probably about four or five versions now that people have sent me. You know? Fantastic. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know what? Let me put a car in there. Well, we'll figure that out later. I'll play with that later. We're doing a video, y'all. We're doing a video. <laughs> I'm going to get sidetracked here real quick. Oh, this is sweet. I know I know where this one's going. Kid's going to steal that one. She's an Oreos hound, man. Even if I buy generic Oreos, uh, they are gone. So, yep. I can see those things going into my kid's room real quick. But thanks, man. I may steal those wheels before I let her have it. <laughs> I like using those wheels. I'm not going to lie. I like using these Goodyear wheels. Yeah, I've stripped so many NASCARs in the past. Just for those, it's sad. It's sad. Oh, now this one is sweet. And the hood opens. Wow. I think I only have one of these in a card. Would you look at that beauty? Man, the color's nice. Absolutely fantastic, man. Absolutely fantastic. That's a bullet, man. Look at that. That's a bullet. I <laughs> love it. Yeah, I think I only have one on a card, and I want to say that it's white. So, fantastic. Oh, my gosh. Would you look at this? Let's put this beauty over here gently. Would you look at this? I like this. I absolutely love it. Put that right there. Man, that is a nice Cuda. Why are we not focusing? There we go. Oh, that's sweet, man. That is absolutely sweet. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, my man. <laughs> oh, look at this. He stole the wheels off of that one, too, just like I did this one. <laughs> Now I got twins, y'all. I got twins. I want to make my own Jurassic Park, you know, diorama. I should. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this casting because I love this casting. I absolutely do. I absolutely do love it. So thanks, man. Now I got two to play around with. Got to figure out what we're going to do with them, though. I got to I gotta do something with them. They, they got so much, you know, landscape that you can do everything with. Oh, shoot. Oh shoot, son. Would you look at that? I don't mind the yellow windows on this one. Yellow windows on this just reminds me back in the old Matchbox stage with those black Mustangs. Oh, but man, right here, GTO Judge. Lord, that's, that is sweet, man. I can't believe you would part with that. That is absolutely fantastic. I do not have one in that color. Absolutely beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, sweet. And I like these wheels too. These are those fatty wheels. Let's go ahead and move this one off gently. Gently, because that one's got to go in a protector pad thingy. Got yourself a sweet, sweet another NASCAR. And I like these wheels because the wheels on this version, they're much wider. On the other ones, uh, they're fairly skinny. You see this? See how skinny they are? So I'm kind of limited on what I can use them on unless I want to trim the axles. And these axles are beasts, man. They do not want to trim easily. But thanks, man. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, shoot. Wow. Look at this. I put this one off to the side. Look at this one. This one's shiny. Intimidators. Freaking sweet, man. Absolutely sweet. I can't believe you part with these things. They are nice. Absolutely nice. Oh, 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 oh. Look what we got here. Would you look what we got here? Put this one off back over here. Put that one right there. Would you look at that? That thing is nice. The decals on it are fantastic. Man, I'm going to have to keep those off to the side separate from the other ones. I ain't stealing the wheels off these. They are way too nice to steal the wheels off of those. 
That's why I was buying those three, four dollar ones at the flea market so I could just steal the wheels and I wouldn't feel so bad, but I can't steal the wheels off of these. Way too nice. Way too nice, man. Thank you very much. Oh, right here. Got Dale Jr. And the Monte Carlo. Fantastic. I like it, man. I like it. On NASCAR, more decals, more faster. That's how that works. You know, the more sponsors you got, the faster you seem to go. <laughs> That's how that works. Yeah, it's a correlation, man. It's a correlation. Let's see what else we got in here. We're getting to the bottom of the box. Oh, man. This is nice. This is really, really nice. Go ahead and put this right here. The Mustang. Look at that. Haviland at that. My dad used to have a Texaco station back in the day when I was a kid. I was 13 and pumping gas, changing tires, and fixing flats, man. My dad didn't believe that, you know, you're too little or too young to do something. You were doing it. Whatever you did, you were doing it. If you could do it, you could do it. And I, and I have that same uh, mentality now with the other drivers that I have and with the other people in the store. If I can do it, you can do it. Trust me. Well, thanks, man. That thing is so sweet. Look at those wheels. Man, those are wheels. Oh, man. Quit looking at this stuff. Quit looking at this stuff. Nice. Nice. I don't have a Hot Wheels forklift, man. I don't. I do not have one in my collection. And what's sweet about this is the forks actually go up and down. Pretty freaking sweet. Old black wall, man. You put those on there? No, you didn't. Hasn't been screwed apart. Fantastic, man. Thank you. I don't have one of those. Let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, sweet. Got some uh, some cars up there. Bobby Allison. He actually looks like uh, this guy that runs the service station down in uh, in Brady. Right there. So weak. Sweet man. Look at that. Thanks, buddy. I see. What's this car? Ooh. Now I'm liking this. I like the color. Bobby Allison's car, man. Put this over here. Bobby Allison Motorsports. Teams Inc. Sweet, man. Absolutely sweet. Oh, sweet, man. Freaking awesome, dude. All right. So, Cecil went and sent me the display stands for him. How awesome is that, man? Thanks. He gave me three of those in here. Absolutely fantastic. You put the note at the bottom of the box, buddy. <laughs> Charles, hope everything is good. Here's your Christmas box, LOL. Uh, hope you enjoy it. My diecast, bro. Keep on keeping on. Cecil's diecast, aka Big C. Well, thank you, Big C. Cecil, thank you so much. Got a couple more things in here. Uh, this is cool. I gotta figure out how to display these because I have a couple of these from the NASCAR ones that I had carded. And I have a couple of these. I got one with a Pepsi billion dollar challenge or whatever. But yeah, that's, man, that's nice. I appreciate that. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get this off the way because Cecil has something that's going to take up that whole turntable. <laughs> I like this. Now that's a big beast right there. I actually only have one other NASCAR this big. And uh, yeah, it's already in the box going to someone. So this will take its place up on the wall. So, yeah, thank you so much, man. Absolutely appreciate that. Let's see what is... Oh, my goodness. What the heck? What the heck? So, Cecil has been very generous. <laughs> I guess can. We got we to gotta load that, that John Deere up real quick. <laughs> so, Cecil sent me a box of miscellaneous basic wheels, which I was having trouble a while ago trying to find blue wheels for that car. So, yep, this will definitely help refill my box over there. And then, got a box of miscellaneous stuff up in here, which is great. I love that twin mill. I'm actually going to, I got a twin mill right over here on the desk. I want to strip it apart and put that pink, that pink on there. Because that pink is sweet. Let's look at that. Man, that's nice. That is very nice. Let me shine it up before we put it out there. Because I am, I'm stripping the twin mill tonight. I'll strip it a twin mill as soon as this video is done. Would you look at that? Look at that. Definitely stripping it, man. I mean, not stripping. I'm stripping down a, another twin mill for the base and everything. 
and then just a mixed bag of goodies oh there's a windshield and the interior for that perfect man oh that's cute look at that little jack there's a little jack right there <laughs> oh and you got some oh i gotta figure out something to do with these i think i have an idea what i'm gonna do with these i actually have a special project in mind and these wheels would go great absolutely great perfect so yes, and there's the engines for the twin mill. So yep, I just gotta strip apart a basin and not gonna be a problem because I got twin mills. One of my favorite cars, I ain't gonna lie. So that's gonna be a good project for me to put together. I'm probably gonna do that as soon as this video is over with y'all. So anyway, we're at 20 minutes already. Shoot, cheese and crackers, did not mean to go that long. So anyway, Cecil, thank you for the box. Your box is over there. Should be saying it out here pretty quick. May not be tomorrow because I got food pantry first thing in the morning. Oh, which by the way, we're getting close to the 31st. I'll still be putting in some money and then we'll tally it up and see what I was able to save not buying die cast and uh, get some money orders made, man. So anyway, y'all, that's all I got. Thanks for stopping by the garage. Absolutely love it when you stop by the garage. And uh, as always, be safe, be well, and be kind. Always be kind. Until the next time I see ya. No, that's not right. <laughs> Until the next time we're at the garage, I'll see you later, Grease Monkeys.